Hey, you're by the Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today, well, I'm using one of the wines that I grabbed from my Oki Toasty Shard music video. And it is the Riesling. It, it looks nothing like your typical German Riesling that you find on the shelf. So I figured, what the hell, pick it up. Let's see how it goes. Hey everybody, before we begin today's video, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that notifications bell so you get notified when future videos are posted. So today I'm going to be reviewing the 2018 Bluefish Riesling. It's from Faltz, Germany. It's 12.5% alcohol by volume. And I can't remember how much I paid for it at HEB, but it's under 15. I'll look it up on a website and I'll put it in the description below. Screw top plus one. So like I said, I'm reviewing this because when I was shooting the Okie Toasty Shard music video, um, I just decided to buy a whole bunch of wines for the video. But make sure they were wines I wanted to try so I could double dip content. At least that was the logic I used in order to buy more wine. And it worked on the wife, so... Anyway, let's take a look at this wine. From a color standpoint, you are a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Alright, on the nose... Ah, you smell like a German Riesling. But you smell very fresh. Like, it doesn't smell like this is going to have a lot of residual sugar. It doesn't smell like there's really been any aging to it. So I'm getting a little bit of like a, uh, a little bit of like a lime, a little bit of a pear, green apple, lychee. And there's like maybe a hint of maybe a little bit of orange in there as well. It's very citrusy smelling compared to a lot of Rieslings that I've had. Definitely not like a lot of red apple and things like that. But, how does it taste? Oh, uh, before I get to that, there's also a petroleum note. Yeah, there is also a bit of a petroleum note here. All right, so now, how does it taste? Oh boy, that's high acid. Oh, that's high acid. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, it's still attacking me. High acid, tons of fresh fruit. Totally fresh fruit. Yeah, so this is a high acid wine with a medium minus body. It has a little bit of heft to it. There is a little bit of a, a residual sugar in there, but it's not a sweet wine. I would say maybe it's going towards off dry. And it's just this really nice tart Riesling bomb, fresh fruit Riesling bomb in the mouth. And I really, really enjoy it. But how much do I enjoy it? Let's get to the blick. From a balance standpoint, I'm gonna give you a full point. I will say though, that if you had too much more acid, and this, yes, I am saying this as an acid loving wine reviewer. If you had too much more acid, I would say you were out of balance. In this case, I think you're still okay. So full point, but barely. Length, medium finish, half a point. In terms of intensity, medium plus on the nose, but it's pronounced on the palate. I mean, it just smacked with fruit. So full point there. And complexity, nah, I'm not really going to give you any points. I, I'm just getting a little bit of, like, some of the stereotypical fruits you would expect from Riesling. Not getting really any aging. The thing I would really have enjoyed with this wine is how I was getting a little bit more florality into it. Maybe getting, like, a peach blossom or something along those lines. I would probably have bumped your primary fruit into half a point. And if I was getting some aging notes, if this thing actually had a long time to sit, I was kind of getting some of that honey, maybe a little bit more of that petroleum as it kind of goes from like a, this like fr fresh petrol into like a binary couch thing, then I probably would have given you a full point. So in the end, that's two and a half points. I'm still going to give you very good. So this is one of those wines where if you have it, definitely hold on to it for a while. And the reason why is that it has enough acid to let you age it. It's really going to develop that tertiary note that you're looking for, like the honey, all the kind of nice old Riesling-y Riesling notes that you tend to have. Um, but also, it could also develop the nose a little bit more and actually make it a little bit more pronounced as some of that stuff is kind of breaking down and aerosolizing. So you actually could end up with what could potentially be a great wine if you let this thing age for a while. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine All The Time. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Bluefish Riesling from Faltz, Germany? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine On The Dime. In the meantime, totally going to go enjoy this. I'm just going to drink it solo, because I want indigestion from all the acid. But it's worth it. I'll see you all later.